pelvic fixations, fixation of the symphysis pubis, and transpubic instabilities. In the plastic model, a pelvic instability type B with external rotation of the hemipelvis is simulated. The injury includes a symphysis disruption and a disruption of the anterior sacroiliac ligaments. The posterior sacroiliac ligaments are intact. The attachment of the rectus abdominis muscle is marked in red. After injury, one side is normally disrupted. Further dissection has to be avoided for prevention of hernias. Reduction is performed with the use of the pointed reduction forceps, which is placed in or around the medial, cranial part of the obturator foramen. For stabilization, the four-hole 4.5 DC plate is used. On rare occasions, the 3.5 plate is applied. The plate is positioned posterior to the muscle attachments. For optimizing the screw directions, both ends have to be contoured. A blunt Holman retractor, or preferably a blunt pelvic retractor, is inserted for protection of the bladder. The orientation of the symphysis pubis is now visualized. After positioning of the plate, the medial eccentric hole is drilled. The screw direction is parallel to the symphysis and can be checked digitally. The use of an oscillating drill is recommended. A screw length of 60 millimeters and more can be realized. Only a short distance has to be tapped. The screw is inserted but not tightened definitely. The contralateral hole is also drilled eccentrically, and compression is achieved by alternate tightening of both screws. The direction of the lateral screws is slightly consurgent. The drill is aimed towards the tips of the medial screws. The symphysis pubis is now fixed. The anatomical model demonstrates the screw positions and the optimum contact in the bone stock. Without further extension of the approach, transpubic instability can be fixed by insertion of a transpubic lag screw. The screw corresponds to the anterior column screw known in acetabular stabilization. The anatomic model demonstrates the close relationship of the implant to the joint. Intraoperative fluoroscopy with ala and obturator projections is therefore mandatory. The entry point is caudal to the pubic tuber cell, as lateral as possible for optimizing the screw direction. With the index finger, the fragments are reduced and the orientation is checked. For this exercise, the orientation of the drilling and the screw direction is practiced.